All right, guys. Over the weekend, Ipelen came out and really make a, and made a very big announcement that she's gonna be joining politics. She's one of those people that I never saw that she's really so brave to join politics. But with the course that she did in the epitomization of her education as a lawyer, you know where lawyers go. And I was like, will Miracle OP allow Ipelen to obviously do this? Because for any woman, when she's going to really do anything, whether it's a man or woman, and he or she has someone that he or she loves, has to feed that person in. After feeding that person in, then that person will give you green light or no green light. And welcome to the Afrogist Television. How are you guys and where you're watching us from? I go by the names of Rakan David. Smash like button, comment and share. If at all you're watching us for the very first time, endeavor to subscribe to this channel so as not to miss out on stories that we do upload in here on a daily. I brought you earlier a video of JB Smith in the live stab or live section doing the needful and she was really making a pizza so let's let me leave you with this video of Ipeleng announcing to us that she wants to join politics and we all know that she has to obviously talk to the man himself that is miracle has she already gone ahead obviously talk to him has miracle given her green light obviously join politics we wait and see what is gonna happen but allow me throw you into this video of Ipeleng here we go. Not on my Instagram live, but on radio. Um, we are on Opulence Radio. And it's on, it's on our bio, so you can just click the link and you can actually catch us and what we're talking about. Today we were talking about, obviously, the, the topic that's on everybody's lips, which is the voting. Did you actually go out and vote? It's up where are we going? You know? I voted, but I wiped it off, guys. Yeah, and it, I feel like it's okay also. Yeah. If, but I think, people, like, I always say South Africa is a democratic country. You know, you have the right to vote, and then you also have the right to be like, okay, cool, I don't feel like I want to vote. I went out to vote. I went home at 11, guys. 11 p.m. I was called. And when I was in that line, I was just like, is it worth it? You know, I was... Counting back to the years of me being an adult, you know, at school, looking for a job, you know, all these challenges that I've actually encountered, you know, as a South African youth. And I was just there, is this worth it? You know, because I look at my surroundings, I'm, I'm like, okay, what has changed? Not much has changed. I'm not even talking about my personal, just my personal life or my personal growth. But the people that I know, like, we're all crying for the same things. And it, it was just like, do I go on with this? Like, I just wanted to give up and just, you know, but as a law student, they will judge you. They, I mean, I forget I'm not a, I'm no longer a law student, guys. Yo, I forget I'm a whole graduate. But yeah, like people will just judge you if you don't vote and you're in the legal field. So I went there. I hope you guys also went there and made the right choices. But Umkonto Esizwe is really, really like, you know, everyone is talking about that. Everyone is just like, hey, bo, how did this happen? But I'm excited. I really, really am one of the people that were saying that let's have, let's put more parties out there so that there is like a challenge in South Africa. And I think that's something that we needed, putting forward a lot of um, parties for them to scratch each other and for them to put pressure on one another. Um, a lot of people were also talking about the coalition um, that might could possibly happen. I think if it was supposed to happen, it would have happened last night. Um, it was between ANC and DA at some point, and it was Mkonto ACs and EFF. And I'm just like, it's great for our country that, you know, Mkonto is where EFF is doing well, DA is doing well, ANC is doing well. Now we're going to see who the big boys are. I mean, we know who's going to be in charge, but I think that going into parliament, let's not take it lightly. Use, you know, the fact that you are in parliament and do the right thing. Guys, I feel like I'm ready to take on a career in the politics, like in politics um, studies. Yeah. Um, I, I swear, I think I'm ready to be a politician. You know, you guys are going to vote for me, right? Just just let me know, which party should I join? <laughs> which party should I join? Because, you know, I'm very interested in this. I, I, I obviously didn't do, like, politics at school. I did LLB. Um, it's not the same thing. A lot of people are like, oh, but it's, it's similar. I mean, we do talk about, you know, legislature and all that. But it's just different things. But it's been so exciting seeing the voting, everyone going out. Um, like I've mentioned, the different parties. 
But let me not bore you guys with politics. I hope you guys are doing great. I'm doing great. Um, looking cute. Thank you. Thank you, guys. I know I've been, I've not posted for like a week. Um, I was just taking a break, you guys. But next week, we are coming in. We are also announcing a new brand that has come on board. Yes, baby. A new brand. Yes. <laughs> Tapo is like, okay. I told you about it. Such a beast. Okay. And that was, like, oh, you and your personal stuff. Yeah, yeah my like. I you for radio. No, no, no. Yo, I'm going to be in the Yo, I'm going you know, but I hope you guys are doing good. We're just talking about, you know, the fact that I haven't been online for like the past week or so. I was just working on a few things, shooting a few content for you guys as well. I do have like a few videos that I want to post probably tomorrow. But if I don't post them tomorrow, I'm going to post them next week. Um, I feel like I was just giving my Instagram a break. Yo, at some point I felt I was like, I felt like I was just posting too much, too much, too much. But now I'm just like, Rachidze. Banyana, we are just doing our own things. But why today let's comment? Like, I'm just so surprised. You guys are just liking. They're just liking. You're throwing in fire emojis. And you're not commenting. And I'm like, why are you guys so quiet today? They probably just like the new hairstyle, man. You guys are loving the new hairstyle. Hmm. I'm back. Got you black braids. You, I miss the color black so much. So, black so much. I love playing it safe. I think this is a nice hair. You can do it like this. You can just switch it around and say, <laughs> you guys, wait the king. Oh no, no, guys, wait the, I think I, I stand a chance to be Miss South Africa. It's just that I cannot flat stomach. Mar. Hang it, can I flat stomach? Give it. Tapo are why don't I wear crop tops? I'm not saying that. I never said that. I just said, why? Why? Why have it? No, I've seen you in a crop top before. They are Mara this year is in Kia crop top because in home. Shahir. Yo San Kopoza Diotewena. San Kopoza Diot. But I hope you guys are doing good. How are you guys doing? We are not laughing. We are not laughing, but I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but I'm gonna take it as a compliment. What was I don't know. <laughs> What did they say? Are we not laughing? No, I think it was because why are you guys not reacting? You guys are just throwing in fire emojis. Yeah, she said. Okay. They're not laughing. So it's they not in a bad way. It's not a bad comment. No, like, it okay. Be, man. And then, no, people are like proper. They are so sweet. I really, really love you guys so much. You guys are the sweetest people ever. They say that you attract people that are just like you. Do you know that? No, I'm telling you, friends. guys, you attract people that are just like you. That's on period. Like, if you oh. see my people, gorgeous, gorgeous girls and gorgeous boys. Yes. Exactly. You know, you can on your They have you guys have great hearts. You guys are destined for greatness. Sometimes you guys send me messages, profile, it's just that Baba You know these people that call me and I'm like, what do, what would they do if I answer the video call? And I'm like, oh my gosh, that would be so funny. I wanna work with you soon. Okay, cool. What would you like us to work on? Then maybe we can just work you send the media key to the red card. <laughs> But I hope you guys are doing great. I think I'm going to leave the live now. It's been a great one. It's been a great one. Love you guys. Love you lots, guys. Because I so I should still be here. Tapo is like, no, I can't leave. I can't leave as yet. Yo, guys. But yeah, I hope... I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are doing well. Guys, you don't have to I was like, guys, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. <laughs> but it's like, it's a few people. Where are the people? I don't understand this whole life thing, bro. Because it was say 84, but actually, a lot of people were of future. Yeah. 
people be on your really? times. Yeah. I don't know. Hey, me, I love it. I'm just like, hi guys. Hi guys. Raza ma no rela pili. Rtsu fere kila la nsende le. Nsende le McDonald's. Yo, buyi ana. Yeah, I didn't know buyi. I'm waiting now. She concerns me. One thing about buyi, ne? If she does not comment, if she doesn't say anything, I worry. Yeah. I'm like, why? Do you like your old time favorite? Why are exactly? Bro. Why are you quiet? So if I'm our next, I just get so concerned. Abu has not that. Uh, uh, what is this? Instagram? We close it down. You are one. So I'm if just Buyi like. If Buyi does not have data. If I'm not that, I'm going to have a Wi-Fi. We are just like waiting. We are not here anymore. But. Guys, we're gonna leave. Do you wanna be here because we're gonna be tired? Oh, shut up, shut up. Bye, bye, guys. Wanna be you out there? Yo, can I give you a chance? We're gonna be tired. We're gonna be tired. Yo. So let me go, guys. I hope you guys are doing good. I think we should go live tomorrow. Tomorrow, I'm going to my friend's birthday party. She has like a girls kind of thing, and then they were like, "Oh, where is Nevar? Nevar, what are you bringing? Now it's got a got a brutal fruit. Now got a brutal. Leva, ni ana ba ke kiti sa twenty four. Hello, leva sa twenty four. Leva sa king kiti twenty four le thirty six. Yo, kiti thirty six. Leva sa tega. Ah, at this point. Yeah. Why are you guys not commenting? But anyway, I think in network, in network, I'm But yeah. But guys, I'm road to 300 subs, 300,000 followers on Instagram. I'm so excited about that. I hope that the next time I share content, you guys share it on your statuses, on your stories, so that I can get like a new audience in. I am super excited about that. I am of like I'm poor. Like I am almost at 300,000 followers on Instagram. It's crazy because that's something that's on my um revision board for 2023. So if I could get that one get the promise when you're back at Kisa YouTube will back and then go YouTube at a road to 50 but not yet. So the main focus right now is obviously um is obviously Instagram and I think we capable. I think we really really are capable of just going in there. So guys, please when I post content share it with your on your stories so that we can reach 300 yo guys even i'm already planning a photo shoot like i'm already planning a photo shoot like just with a young cake and the cake is looking very cute and i'm like oh we just hit 3000 followers on instagram so i'm so close so close and yeah but that's it so when i do you know post content share it on your stories and probably Probably get to reach three hundred subscribers, like a follower. So I'll get hope to YouTube. But anyway, it's been a great night. I'm going back to work. You guys must take care. Rata nang, rata nang, rati wing, rata nang, rati wing. And then I'll see you guys tomorrow. Let's go live. I'm going to a party. It's not a party. It's a girls' night out. And then it's gonna be super fun. I might go live there. I think it's gonna be very fun. Rata la di tati sa konsi. And then. Yeah, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. Be great. Have a great Friday. Bye. Well, that's a pelling for you. Now I call upon for your reactions in the comment section below. Do you think she can turn into a better politician? And do you think Miracle OP is going to allow her to obviously go ahead and really take on this big step in her life? Because politics is a risk business you all know that so it is referred to as a dirty game and she's gonna she's gonna join the dirty game will will the hubby allow her to obviously get into politics i call upon for your reactions into the comment section below but having a supportive partner is obviously one of the points that really take you to where you deserve to be so is miracle gonna be a supporting partner bye bye